All right, I'm gonna close it. All right, I'm trying to do a quick video because I'm here watching uh, my friend Snake, and I just got finished putting her back in. Um, so basically, every time I was coming here, this dang thermostat, even though I had it set on a certain temperature, it it would still just go to like 77. I had it set for 82, and this is right here, is where it shows the current temperature. Um, and it, for some reason, I mean, I looked at the, I looked at the time and everything, make sure it had all the time set right. And it just wasn't doing it. Like it wasn't, it was dropping to 77 and she was just way too cold. So I would take her out and then I was, I was putting it on this setting right here. I figured out a way to get it at least to work temporarily. Um, so I pressed the menu, start scrolling. I went to heater mode and I would put it on the proportional setting, which, uh, yeah, I'll go into that a little bit later and describe all that. But yeah, I, I wanted to make a quick video about this cause it's one little, it's one little but important aspect that I figured out. Um, because you know, you, you learn as you go. So right now I have it on 82 actually. So to get to the temperature of what it's supposed to be for the daytime, you plus the enter menu. And then set daytime temperature, you press the enter again, and then and you can adjust it up, the up or down arrows. I have it set for 82, you know, and then you press enter again, then that's how you set it. Um, and so you can see it's dropping below a little bit, and you might be wondering, okay, well, why would, you know, if I have it set for 82 and it's 4 o'clock right now, this is, I thought maybe when I first saw that, I'm like, why is it dropping? I'm like, okay, maybe I could look at the time that I have it set for. So I went into the menu again. Then you scroll and you go to set start of daytime temperature. You collect, you, you select uh, enter. I have it set for six o'clock AM. So that's fine. But then I was like, okay, maybe I have it for, you know, set nighttime temperature as earlier than this. So I'm like, maybe that's why it's doing it. So I went in, start of nighttime temperature, 7 p.m. And then I'm like, hmm, well then why is it dropping below that temperature? And the only thing that got to work is, well, what I'm, I'm gonna answer that question in a second, but one of the things I did temporarily because poor, poor uh, snake was like, she was way too cold. So I went ahead and went into, um, heat mode and I selected, now it was on off, on and off mode for the whole time he's had this thermostat. I want to make note of that too. He's had it for like 10 years now and this thing has worked great. So it's been on on off mode for the whole time. I went ahead and switched it to proportional. And I'm not going to do it now, but basically proportional is waves of electricity go through and it kind of pulses and it makes more of, um, you know, it turns it on more frequently by having it like, well, basically it never shuts on and off. It basically has electricity running through it and you can get more accurate temperatures that way if you're trying to have it be more accurate. The on and off setting for the heat is really great too. It's like I said, it's worked for 10 years. I just didn't understand why it's dropping below what I set it to. If the time is there is okay and everything. And one of the things I've learned is this. So you select, and it's very important. So that's why I'm making this video The enter for the menu. Let's go to the heat mode. Select that. Um, and then when you select it again, it gives you an option. And so I saw this, I'm like, what the hell is Hister? It was set at 10. So I'm going to set it back to just two for right now. And I'm explain what Hister is. So Hister is like, okay, right now I have, let's go back to the main menu so you can see. Well, I mean, it's dropped to 80 now, but I have it set as you just saw a little bit ago. I have it set for 82, um, and right now it's two degrees below that. So this heat should shut on. It, it should come on. It like click on because I have it on at, um, the hister is set at two. 
So I hope that makes sense. So I have it set again. I'm going to go to the daytime temperature. I have it set at 82 with a hister of two. So that means if it gets below the 82 by two degrees, it'll shut it on. It'll, it'll turn it on. It'll shut it on. It'll turn it on. And then vice versa. If it ends up getting to 84, which is two above, it'll shut the heat off. Um, and then the same principle applies when you go to um, night, night drop amount, enter. Uh, I have it on five. So um, same thing. When it drops five below the, the 82 that I have, it kind of just basically, in summary, it gives it like a little wiggle room. Um, so that way it's not exactly, like you can have it exact, but it should turn on now that it's 80. If it drops below 80, now that this has reached the number that's the hister number, um, it should turn it on and off. I hope that makes sense. I just, I'm not trying to make this really long. Um, it's a really important factor because if I... Like, my, the, the, the weather here is really, like, pretty hot. And I've noticed that the temperature was just not, like, it was extremely dangerous. If it, if it had been any cooler here, I, I live in Louisiana and it's, like, sweltering. If it had been cold and that hister number was on 10 the way it was, that means that this wouldn't have kicked on, the heat would not have kicked on until it reached... 72 because remember I had it set for 82 and then the hister number was 10 so it wouldn't have shut like it, it was shut I keep saying it. it it wouldn't have turned on until it got to 72 and that is way too cold and then the nighttime drop my friend had told me to put it on like 10 degrees I'm like no I feel like that's just someone's just telling me just put it on five again it never did reach below 77 because that's how it's how warm it is in, in we have the AC raised while he's gone. So I've really like that that also helped too. Um I'm just making this because this is so vitally important. Um he's never had to mess with it. For some reason he's saying that it worked fine. And the first night that he was gone and I came here to check, it was running fine. And if anything, it was really hot in there. Uh and I don't know. I don't know how it got turned, the history number being that high, or what, what's going on. So I just wanted to make a quick note of this. Um, I don't want to talk too much longer. But yeah, I, if you want like a full tutorial of the whole thing, of every single setting, I could do that too. But this is just mainly... See that right there? That was snake skin. I just love snakes. I know some people don't like them, but... They're just fascinating. She's just been sitting here staring at me. <laughs> she never really does that. Usually she's curled up in a ball, but ever since I put her back, um, that was like an hour ago. She was trying to warm up. Like I said, I mean, it got so cold. I'm so glad that I, that I worked this out and figured this out for her.